What's up, Taurus? Welcome to your July 2018 horoscope all right, all right, all right, all right. Can't get too long, can't get too long with the copyright. They start getting weird, okay? So, welcome, welcome, Taurus, to your July 2018 horoscope, guys. Super excited to be doing this horoscope for you, okay? I think this is going to be a very, very big month for you guys, Taurus, okay? Child, this could be coming in as well, though, because Leo season is going to be creeping in. That's your fourth house, and that squares you guys, okay? Um, and that is just, you know, a different energy than you, okay? It's similar to Aquarius, okay? Um, you know, we're the same energy, but we see life in different ways, and so it can sometimes be conflicting, okay? So Leo season can sometimes be a little difficult for Taurus, okay? So, starting off, guys, this month's going to be super, 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 super. It's just a lot. They've got two eclipses this month, and we have another one in August that's going to just finish everything off for us, okay? Not in a bad way, but just in, it's the third eclipse, okay, the last of three. Um, usually, you have two. We got three going on, okay? So, very, very major. Um, this is going to be, this month's going to bring in a Mercury retrograde as well. That's going to happen in Leo, okay? And, you know, for you, that's going to be a big time of rethinking how you see family, rethinking how you see values, rethinking how you see um, how you even rethinking how you feel, okay, and and valuing your feelings, following your, your gut, okay, looking into gut health as well and seeing what that has to do and what that's telling you, okay, um, if you have anxiety or there's repressed emotions in anything, any way that's going to be coming up through your thoughts during the Mercury retrograde happening at the end of the month, okay, it's going to start on um, the 26th of this month, okay, right, be the day before the Aquarius eclipse, okay, in your fourth house, okay? So that's going to be a lot, a lot of focus on the home, okay? Um, I'm sorry, the Aquarius Eclipse is going to be not in your fourth house, guys. That's going to be in your tenth house, okay? That's going to be in focus on the opposite, the opposite area of, of um, this cancer energy of your home, okay? Which is your career, okay? Who you are outside of home, who, the legacy you want to leave. And I really see that's a big, big focus for this entire month and kind of the message I was receiving in the beginning of as I was shuffling for your um, reading, okay? And I'll get into that in a sec, okay? Um, this month is also really going to be bringing a lot of shifting just in energy so, so much with these eclipses, okay? Um, and a lot of it, too, you know, we've got, you've got the Mars retrograde that kicked in on the 20th, 26th of June, I believe. Let me flip back. Yes, 26th of June, okay? Um, I've definitely been feeling the energy shift. I have NATO Mars retrograde, and so I really... I felt even more um, um, energy being sucked out, okay? But this is what it's doing, and then I talked about this in my Mars Retrograde video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it's like when your battery's at 5% on your phone, you can't do a lot of things. You can only do the things you need to do, okay? Call, you know, or whatever. The, it's the things that you feel are very, very important to you, okay? And so that's what Mars Retrograde is doing for us. We don't have the energy to just stand for things that, that we really don't care about do things we really don't care about, be around energies that we really don't care about, okay? We have the energy to do exactly what we want to do, okay? And that's the only thing that's going to fuel us, is exactly what's on our path, okay? So that realigns us in a way, okay? And that's happening in your career, that's happening in, you know, how you come off to people, that's happening in how you deal with your emotions in the public, that's happening in your businesses as well, okay? Um, and so, you know, this is a very, very major time, okay? Um, and now I want to kind of get into the, the message I was feeling for you guys for this month. Um, Taurus, you know, what's happening is you have Uranus that just moved into Taurus in your season, okay? Um, right? I feel like the new moon in Taurus, I feel like it was the 15th of May or something like that. Um, and what's happening is Uranus is jumping into Taurus. He's going to be there for a long time, okay? What he's doing is he's, he's helping to bring in new innovation for Taurus, okay? Allowing us to manifest in new innovative ways, manifest for the future, manifest to build new things, and, and also build things that are eco-friendly, earth-friendly, because I believe that Taurus is ruled by the earth, okay, as well as Venus, okay, and 
um, you know, it, it's to incorporate, um, you know, understanding more of life from more of a physical way, okay? Getting more into our body, okay? But more bringing in more spiritual, more enlightened energy into our body, into our lifestyle, um, and to our manifestations, to our businesses. This is all going to be occurring with Uranus and Taurus, okay? And so with you being a Taurus, this is like a remix of your life, okay? Uranus is wanting you to, you know, revolt and, and change and upgrade and, and, and reinvent yourself and remix yourself, okay? And come from a place of innovation. And, and, and your Uranian energy is very wacky. It's very, um, and that's the energy of Aquarius, hey? Um, very eccentric and very looking at your unique qualities and pulling them out, okay? I feel like, you know, when I was shuffling the card, that's how the orphan card on the bottom of the deck. And I was like, maybe, you know, in, in, in the situation, especially with, um, you know, you guys having, um, I just lost my train of thought a little bit. But it, it's, it's, um, crap, what was I about to say? Well, in the, in the past, okay, I really feel like there was a situation for a lot of Taurus energy in your childhood or in the beginning of after, like college or beginning of your career. Where you felt orphaned, you felt like you did not fit in, you felt like, you know, you had to too hide the, the unique aspects of yourself, to hide the aspects of yourself that were not, you know, qualified or were not perfect or, or were kind of wacky or a little bit weird, okay? Um, and that that made you, that, or things that made you feel isolated, okay? Or you, you, you kind of suppress certain feelings or suppress certain, certain things because you were picked on for them or they didn't work in certain ways, Okay. But now, what Spirit is wanting you to realize is those things are actually your biggest strength. Those things are actually going to be, to push you forward. Those are actually the things that people are going to love you for, okay? You have Aquarius 10th house, okay? Which means that, you know, this is this is the energy of the eccentric, the wacky, those, that's what you're going to be known for, okay? Um, is is that energy, okay? The, the energy of, you know, your quirks, okay? The things that, that you... you you know, thought you needed to hide. Think about, and the only thing I'm popping in my head is Sam Smith, but he's known now. He's a big, big character in the LGBT community. He's a big character. I listen to him as well for, he's one of the few men and male artists that goes into his emotions um, in, a, in, a, on a very, in a very feminine way. Um, and, you know, he, he started to open up that, that realm as well. Um, but, and also just, you know, his image starting off was not like how people see artists, you know, and, and so, but he gained fame based on his talent and his unique voice. It's all these aspects for the, that Aquarian 10th house, okay? And so you guys are, you know, spirits really getting you to accept your quirks, okay? And to embrace them, okay? And to gain confidence in them. Because what happened is, in our animal energy, you got the starfish in reverse and the stingray in reverse, Okay. Starfish energy talks about re re relying only on the surface level energy, focusing on even on in aspirations and the dreams, idealizing people that on the surface look good, but in the background, they're not really good people. Okay. Or having beliefs, you know, and, and believing in, oh, I can receive this success if I just, you know, mold myself into this way. But what that's doing is this is the card, the stingray is a card of confidence, the standing, your, standing up for yourself, having a strong spine to support yourself. Okay. And what that does, anytime you try to change yourself, or anytime you're trying to fit into something else, or anytime you're trying to look at only the surface level and deny, which is basically not, it's not denying, but if you're only focused on, let's say like I got an orange, I, I just discovered an orange, and I'm so in, just, uh, 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 just in love with the skin of the orange, okay? Oh my God, I just want to have this orange, okay? And I don't even expect and go any deeper. I just stay on the surface. I will never know that this orange actually can be nourishment for me. This orange actually is food if you open it up, okay? And so that is the energy here. It, it, it's the inside of you, okay? You need to pull out these aspects of you that have been hidden, okay? Because that is what is going to be your your confidence. That's what's going to strengthen you. That's going to support you. That's what you're going to be known for, okay? Especially if you have it feel like your chakras are blocked, okay, with Notice how it is showing all the colors of the chakra, okay? That's going to align you as well. And what came with this is the unicorn, okay? And notice the unicorn is something that is very fanciful, very unique, okay? Um, it's even, you know, very highly represented with the LGBT community. Um, and, and being kind of wacky, being kind of, um, you know, like the, the elephant in the room or, or like the, 
you know, just a, a, having a uniqueness to you, okay? But the unicorn card in this deck as well is a very spirit, represents spirit, and it talks about the third eye and, and your vision for yourself, okay? If you don't believe it, if you can't dream it up, it's not going to happen, okay? And so you're going to need to really begin to remove all of, you know, what you felt, felt like you had to see yourself as, and start to see yourself and embrace who you truly are, okay? And I feel like notice the ma massive ass moon in the background. This lunar eclipse that's gonna be occurring in Aquarius is a full moon and it's about eclipsing and cutting things out. And it's gonna be about shedding, it's gonna be in your 10th house. So shedding emotions and shedding beliefs and shedding patterns and ways of doing things and how you come off to others, okay? And embracing your ex eccentricities, embracing your um, uniqueness and doing things in a new way. That's also why Mars is retrograde and the South Node is in your 10th house, okay? Taurus spirit is really trying to remove, because the South Node is about removing, okay? Releasing. Mars is retrograde, so it's about redoing things and, and your motivations and how you're doing things, okay? And you're going to have an eclipse in the 10th house as well, so spirit is really wanting Taurus to redo and, and remove out a way of doing things okay and i just saw 11 11 on the time as well so it's like ding this is this is it okay and bringing and embracing your uniqueness and embracing your um your eccentricities and not caring how others you know see you okay and so notice the energy card i got for you guys is to be fair okay that's going to balance everything out okay that's going to bring fairness to your situation okay because I feel like you're only been been giving energy to a certain part of yourself and the whole other aspect has been missed. Okay. And so that's in your manifestations, you're only gonna get that part. And there's a whole nother part that's coming. Okay. And so this is your energy here. Now I wanna get into your let me start with a little bit of tarot really quick. Let me just see if there's any messages coming through in tarot. Oh yes, there is. First one, the strength card, okay. Another card of inner confidence, inner self-strength, inner wisdom, inner knowing, okay? Allowing you to, to yield and manifest your life, okay? The lion is very, very reputable for strength and confidence and being known for um, its pride and self, okay? Um, and this is, again, talking about this is going to be a Leo season when this lunar eclipse is occurring. Leo season is coming in for you guys. That is your fourth house, your home environment. And who you are at home, and if you feel like yourself at home, okay. And so it's about bringing that out to the public, okay. And then it's saying that you know this is also a time this month though of not being hasty, okay, not moving, not rushing, rushing forward when an opportunity comes up, okay. Taking the second and really kind of figuring out and contemplating, you know, the op the options you've been doing. Maybe I've been actually seeking jobs that I feel like have fit will fit the idea of what I think I should be, not who I really am, okay? Maybe certain opportunities I was missing that actually are for me, but it, it's, I'm nervous of how that would look, okay? This is what we're taking time to contemplate this month, okay? This month is not a time to be doing a whole bunch of anything, okay? Because Mars is retrograde, okay? And next month, okay? It's time to just really be focused on balancing things out. Taurus, you're going to be focused on gaining strength, okay? And being unique as well. Not being unique, but just embracing your uniqueness, okay? Embracing how you fit into the puzzle, okay? Um, and then I want to end your reading with some angel advice. I'm hearing three cards from my Taurus, and I just saw 13, 33, so 333. Three, three. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Uh, wedding. So we might have some weddings occurring this month for Taurus, some um, declarations of love. This also wedding is a major, major card that talks about um, self-love and celebration of love that they're coming in, okay? And so I feel like this is a, a, you know, a wedding with yourself, being married to yourself, okay? Ground yourself is coming out as well, okay? Meaning a time to really get back in with yourself, especially since you are so earth-centered, okay? And getting back in, and, and even taking meditations and asking spirit to bring your energy back, okay? Any thoughts of, oh, I want to be like that person, gives your energy to that person, and it takes it away from yourself and empowering yourself. So ask to give all your energy back and you receive, so I'm going to show you these cards, wedding, okay, ground yourself, notice wings on both of them, they're both feminine cards, okay, so this is a time as well, to tapping into your divine feminine, receptive energy and just being, okay, and then you receive see only love, okay, I'm going to read this one, notice again the moon in the back, okay. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see the love within each person, including yourself. 
Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Okay? So what I have for you, Taurus, it's like a big month for healing and standing up for yourself and, not, and, and just bringing in new confidence, bringing in new love, um, and, and just new excitement and bringing in and accepting your uniqueness, okay? Um, and being stable in that, okay? It's time to balance that out, y'all, okay? Much, much love, Taurus. If you want to get deeper into any situation, you want to talk about Mars retrograde, you want to get deeper into how this affects your life, how you can bring up and, 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 and come. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm all about the, you know, bringing in, seeing your unique qualities and how we can, you know, incorporate that, okay? Um, so, whatever. If, if your soul is telling you you need to read with me, hit up my services. There's lots of links to them. We have so many, you know, services for you guys. I'm not going to get super, super deep into that. I, I lay that out very well on my website. It took a long time to get that laid out. Okay, so go check that out. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, subscribe, like, and share, y'all, okay? If you feel like this message resonates would resonate with someone else, well, share the message, okay? Uh, make sure to check your moon sign and rising sign as well, if this is for your sun sign, Taurus, okay? Um, and, and check out, you know, all my other videos. There's going to be so many more things coming out, because eclipse season is going to be major, okay? Three eclipses is very rare, okay? So much love, Taurus. I will talk to you later, guys. Enjoy the month of July.